wished I loved anything as much as he loves Moana. <laughs> I'm serious. My boy, the son, my son, my son, the boy. The boy. <laughs> However you want to say it. He just walks around the house all day long going, fly, Maui bird, fly, because Maui turns into a hawk. But it's a phase, though, right? Like, there's going to be a I new thing at some it's point. It's all he watches, and this weekend the mission is to get him onto a different movie. Because I'm serious. He walks around the house, he just, because Maui goes, Jehu. So he just walks around going, Jehu. And I just walk around the house going, I can see what's happening, yeah. <laughs> The Brett Davern Show, brought to you by Adobe Radio in partnership with Nice Guy Digital and recorded live in beautiful North Hollywood, California. On today's episode, the Murano Sisters. You know Laura from Austin and Alley. You know Vanessa from my personal favorite, Switch to Birth. And they've both just finished filming a project together called Saving Zoe. Now let's get to the guy who graduated high school three times. That's me. Your new best friend, Brett Davern. Listen up, everybody. <laughs> I almost started to cough. <laughs> this is our show. Thank you for joining us live on Adobe Radio, YouTube, or wherever you get your podcast. If you want to join in the fun of today's episode, you can call or email the show anytime. The phone number is 1-888-99-IDOBE. Shout out a friend. Shout at us. Shout with us. It's all good. Just call us. Once again, the phone number is 1-888-IDOBI. And the email for the show is bdsfans at adobe.com. That's B D S. F-A-N-S at adobe.com Alright, that's enough of that. We got lots of show. Katie just sh- throws it off. No slow fade for Katie. Just shut it off. I'm, I'm doing a lot of things right now. You lots know? of show to get to today, but before we get to all that, hi there, Boy Wonder. Hey! And Katie LeClaire. It's National Handbag Day, Brett. Oh my gosh. National Handbag Day. Well, I guess I can't celebrate. You could have a man purse. That's no, okay. No, I just mean I gave all mine to charity. <laughs> Listen, before we really do get going today and before we get to all the fun and the music, um, right off the top of the show, I have to apologize. It's episode two, and I'm already apologizing <laughs> on the air. Oh, perfect. Um, because um, I have to apologize for something that happened yesterday. Um, in the beginning of the show, I was shouting out people and mentioning people who make this show possible and uh in listening back to the show yesterday i realized that i didn't mention katie <laughs> so oh um i didn't mention her and i didn't thank her and um i meant to it's in my notes i can prove it to you i'll show you the notes i i meant to uh but i didn't so i'm sorry <laughs> Um, honestly, I could not do this without you. Your tenacity, pa- uh, passion, ambition, creativity, um, some might say painfully <laughs> persnickety attention to detail. <laughs> this show absolutely would not and does not exist without you. Thank you. Wow, thank you. Hit the music. Thank you for watching on YouTube or listening to the podcast version of The Brett Davern Show. If you were listening live on Adobe Radio, you'd be hearing real music right now instead of this message and whatever song this is. Sometimes the rules just won't let us play real music on YouTube or the podcast. It's not a big deal. Just putting it out there. Back with more show in a second. Hey, Brett. Wonder Dad here. Dad to Boy Wonder. During the show, I thought I heard you mention not receiving an email as of yet, or sending one. Thought I'd support your show and staff by sending one along and supporting, congratulating Adobe on the premiere of the Brett Davern Show and taking it to the next level. Cool stuff! Keep up the great work and much success to you and Adobe. 
Love the camera guy, Wayne. That is the greatest thing ever. And what that is, everyone, is the first ever email to the BDS fans at adobe.com email address. And it was sent by Boy Wonder's dad. And we love Wayne. Wayne is amazing. Shout out to Wayne. I responded to Wayne. I replied. I told him that Dan's actually a piece of shit. And, oh, wait. No, wait. I'm kidding. No, I responded, uh, I think, very warmly. And Wayne, you're amazing. Thank you so much for listening. Uh, uh, oh, no, I said his real name. Oh, no. Well, maybe he, people didn't hear it. Boy Wonder's amazing, and we love him. We love the boy. And he gets to come back every day. Until every he, day? Until he messes up really the badly. <laughs> or until they throw us off the air. They haven't fired me yet. Whichever one happens first. Uh, Vanessa Murano. Yes, Brett. Welcome to the show. Thanks for being here. Wait, let me unmute your microphone. There you go. Oh, I can talk now. There she is. Hi. Hey. Sorry. <laughs> Vanessa, we're still getting used to this whole radio thing. I'm sorry. That's all right. You were just over there talking, and I'm the only one that could hear you. That's true. But that's all right. Welcome to the show. Again, thank you for having me. Where's your sister? Oh, that's a great question. What is happening? Uh, Laura Murano has mm -hmm. a severe problem with being on time devices. Ah, mm -hmm. that's okay. Mm -hmm. Is it because she has a flip phone? It is probably because she has a flip phone. <laughs> okay. She has the inability to live in reality. Really? Apparently. So like the reality of what time you have to be at places mm -hmm. or the reality that, you know, people have smartphones. But now she is she is in a lift on the way here, right? She is in a lift on the way here. And still just, so like parking isn't an issue. Is no, oh saying. yeah, no, there, she has no excuse. And you said she lives pretty close to the studio. No, they live close we to live each close other. To each oh, other. my bad, my bad. I so misunderstood that part of it. One would assume that you would all right. a carpool with the person who. That's all right. I'll let it go. We get to talk to you for now. <laughs> That's right. That's fine. Exactly. It's, it's all good. <laughs> I have tons of questions for you. Tons? Oh, I did my homework. Excellent. Um, oh, I'm ready to go. Believe um, me. I'm going to interrupt you for a second to say that I just. That's usually my job on the show, but you can go for it. <laughs> I just want uh, you to know that Laura Morano is here. Nice. So she's going to walk ease. in live like a like a rock star. Eventually, in the middle of questions. Mm. So let's do this. Let's I make think, her uncomfortable. Listen, in this town we live in, like being fashionably late mm -hmm. is fashionable. It's true. It's a fashion. Now. Being late seems like it's something that you are not, though. I am not late. You are a Never punctual late. person? I am very punctual. Yeah, me too. I try to be. Five minutes uh, five minutes early is on time for me. Absolutely. Right? Yeah. Come on. Why is being on time so important to you? Uh, being on time is so important to me because it does not throw off the schedule for the rest of the day. Mm. It is also respectful of people's time. There you go. Uh, and yeah, I just think why be late and have that anxiety I when agree. you can be on time and be at peace. Do you get early to like auditions and meetings and stuff? Oh, so early. Yeah, me too. To the point where like, I mean, I don't know if this has happened to you, but like you're there and they're like, we're not in the session yet. Yeah. Oh, I've shown <laughs> up a day early before. Oh, I showed like, up three uh, weeks early one time, Brett. Oh, yeah, yeah, right? <laughs> yeah, I, I misread the email. Yeah, because sometimes you just read Wednesday, early. and so then you just go on Wednesday, yes. but it was Wednesday three weeks from then. Absolutely. And then you're on the yeah, right Yeah, you day. don't, like, look at the date. I've How do you guys get agents sending you auditions three weeks in it, advance? It, listen, like, that's, a, that's the kind of... <laughs> Very rarely it happens, but it has happened. That's all, right. all I'm saying. Mm -hmm. It's usually not. It's usually like, oh, take a meeting. And, like, you know, you go in there and you're like, my name's Vanessa. These are the positive attributes that I have. And they're like, oh, my God, that's so interesting. And then you never hear from anybody ever yeah. again. Yeah, they go, great interest. to meet with you. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> Vanessa, you were born on Halloween. Yes. So you got a birthday coming up. I do. And do you go buck wild on Halloween? Do you celebrate like crazy then? I mean, if buck wild, you mean uh, in my pajamas going to bed early. What? Then, yes. We're going to Pride oh. this year. We are planning on going to Pride this year. I've done the, the West Hollywood uh, uh, Halloween parade twice. Yeah, yeah. And There's I, her sister yeah, walking in. It's all good. Her. I've done it twice, but I have never done it hey. being of age. Laura Morano. Laura Morano in Hi. studio coming in. Hi, how are you? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Come on in. You're fine here. Sit down. Hey. Oh, Hug she's hugging sister. everyone. Hug your sister. Hey. Sit down. It's not like the show is going on right now. I know what's going on, but I just want to hug people. You're fine. You're fine. It's all right. Sit down. Put those headphones on there. Let me, wait, let me unmute your microphone. I just figured out how to do this. There you go. You're on. Hello. Hey. 
Hi. Thanks for being here. Thank you for having us. We were just talking to Vanessa about <laughs> trying to adjust you. People who are <laughs> late or on time. No, actually, we were talking about Halloween and your birthday. We were talking about. We were first focusing on people who are late. Are you one of those Halloween on people that dress up? Both of you. I mean, now it's her birthday. Well, yeah, we were talking about that. <laughs> you know what we covered when you weren't here? That yeah, place on Halloween. We did. We I did. had a I had a feeling. Wait. Usually, yeah. when we mention Halloween, it's usually a topic of the. I just want to I just want to share a, the the golden nugget of the fact that Vanessa's birthday is Halloween. Yeah. The doctor delivered her in a bunny suit. Yes, That's pretty great. Well, the doctor showed up in a bunny suit. Really? I, I like the, yes. my version better. Yeah, that she, delivered, she changed yeah. for the actual, like she put on gloves. I like your version better too. <laughs> she put on gloves. <laughs> Well, yeah. that's, yeah, you it want to put on gloves when you're delivering a child. It was sanitary. Mm -hmm. uh, but mm -hmm. yes, she was at a Halloween party. That's hilarious. Uh -huh, that's like she, something out of a sitcom. It really is. Wow. It was an episode of Cheers. Uh -huh. <laughs> it wasn't. It wasn't an episode of Cheers. <laughs> that's awesome. Oh, my gosh. All right, well, now, let's see. I got to get my head around all this stuff. So, um, Laura, okay, hold on. Me. I got to. I can that figure this out. Am I asking questions about? All right. Vanessa, Halloween birthday. You can focus on me first. She's just, she's late. She. Didn't I'm not used to having multiple her. guests here, so I'm <laughs> like, my head is swimming. Um, Laura. Yes. I heard you have a flip phone. Wow, there it is. Everybody can go to YouTube and see Laura's what's flip up? phone. Yeah, D it's now, a great phone. What's up? You just don't want what's up? the smartphone. You just want the flip phone. I just like my flip phone. I like my flip phone. For have you always reasons. had the flip phone? or always have you, had a flip phone. You never had an iPhone? Never had an iPhone. Really? Yes. Never had a smartphone. Wow. Never had a smartphone. That is so have hipster an and awesome. I do cheat, though, because I have an iPad that has cellular service. Oh, okay. But I love my flip phone for a variety of reasons. I drop it all the time. never right. breaks. Right, sure. And, well, and you don't have to worry about it breaking. Flip it. Oh, man, yeah, I know. It feels good, right? Doesn't it? <laughs> oh, it does feel nice. Mm. Oh, I miss that. <laughs> and you know what I miss? This is the part of it I miss. You're talking Everyone to someone. That. What okay. I'm about to do? Okay. You're like, yeah, sell that stock in a hurry. Then you flip it yeah. shut. Yeah, you I didn't do it. You good. All I didn't do it good. It's but been my years cool since I. Cool kids on Wall Street are doing. They're <laughs> like, sell years. that stock in a hurry. <laughs> flip. Was that like a super old man thing? You know? Sorry, I'm sorry. Everyone loves flipping it down, but to be honest, I love flipping the it. Flipping up. it up is great. <laughs> I'm just saying. Oh my gosh. I'm just saying. I'm actually kind of jealous of your flip phone now. I'm I'm bringing it back. I'm, the I'm thing is, is that I have to get directions to places when I'm in the car. Have an iPad. Yeah. Well, but yeah. then you gotta have cell service for that. It's oh, a whole thing. Yeah. No, it doesn't make sense. Yeah. It seems like it's more trouble. You know what? I'm gonna come out with. I'm gonna come out with. I'm gonna sell them at Urban Outfitters. Uh -huh. A plug-in flip phone to your iPhone. So then you're just oh my in God, your car do you have holding the flip phone. With a cord attached, they maybe. Do or maybe Bluetooth. Have one. I have but it's it. not it's, a flip. It's not a flip. It's a regular phone. Right. And it's pink. Oh. Um, so I have one of those. I will say it, it kind of negates the whole, like, having, like, the hands-free talking right. situation. Right, right, right. But it makes you feel a little, it makes you feel good. For yeah, me. well, but I miss having a regular phone tucked under my shoulder between my ear and my shoulder because the iPhone, you can do it, but it's not, it's not, it doesn't have same. the right feel. And it'll always, like, Ball. All right, this has been Hot Phone Talk with the Murano <laughs> sisters. Welcome to the show. Um, guys, let's get into, um, wait, do we have to take a break? Oh, no, we're good. We're good. I'm still getting used to this whole You're taking breaks it. and stuff. Wait, second day. Second day, day killing two. It. Thanks for yeah. being here, day two, girls. I was Thanks doing a podcast us. for a whole year before this, but it was way less organized than this <laughs> is trying to be. So. Oh, because you got <laughs> uh, you Katie. Got, exactly. <laughs> we know what's happening. Ladies, so you guys both grew up in California, yeah? Yes. Agora Hills? Or close to oh, it? Yeah, close the valley. It, yeah. In the valley. The, the end of the San Fernando mm, Valley. I live sort of Agora Hills j adjacent Ooh, now. So nice. I'm out in Woodland Hills. So, you know, hey. I'm out there. Yeah, no, it's 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 fun. It's the valley life, it's man. A, it's, it's a nice drive, but also a drive. Mm -hmm. It's a nice long drive. You got to plan an hour everywhere you go. Yeah, a but you know bit. what? You got to do yeah. that no matter where you are. That's in true. Well, if you live in Burbank, not necessarily. Uh, yes. Yes, you yeah. do. I, I, I know I, I don't have a leg to stand on right now currently, but I will say <laughs> I know many people, many of people who live in Burbank who don't have to leave an hour yeah. to get yeah, to Hollywood. Yeah, because they're going to, are they going to Hollywood? What time are they going to Hollywood? I We're going to turn into the. argue with each other. <laughs> like on the air. Oh, it'll it's happen. Whole thing of it's, how, it's like, it's so funny because it's like such a part of our like 
DNA. family culture and family, <laughs> but like literally and traffic so, or arguing arguing oh Both. okay um, i like that i like that and traffic i think is part of everyone's family culture. are you guys is your family italian Yes. Oh, so How like loud you know? and using the using the hands all the time. All the time. I love it. I don't use the hands. How are we? I use my hands, but I don't use it in a way. Since no, she like sat down. Like, no, I use kind of like a robotic like. I think you got to get this one going. This is the one. Everybody, go to YouTube. See this gesture. This is the one. Our dad does this or like. Oh, of course. Oh, the fist. The yeah. fist yeah. bite is the greatest. When you get mad, you're like, if I just. Uh huh. Oh, I love that. You just be uh, Italian. I love like, that. That's amazing. Um, let's talk about some first gigs in the business, shall we? Great. Let's go way back. Way back. I've done my research, everybody. Oh, okay. Yes. Laura, uh, first gig, Joan of Arcadia. Does that sound right? Nope, without a trace. No, I'm wrong. <laughs> but you almost got it. I was close. Well, so IMDb has Joan of Arcadia first, I think. If you scroll. Well, because we did a few episodes without a trace. Uh, if you actually looked at the first episode without Damn, a trace. Damn, IMDb let me down. <laughs> yeah, because they don't organize it by, like, when you started. They organize Still, it though, you did Joan of Arcadia in 2004, which makes you, like, eight or nine when you were doing that? Something um, like that? You started young. I started, so I started, yeah, we, I started well, you five, you both she did. started eight. Yeah. I was eight, she was five. Wow. So I probably, I did my first commercial at, like, five, but then I got without a trace. We did at the same time at, like, six. Mm. Mm-hmm. Six, and you guys did Without a Trace together. We did. You guys we have worked together sister? a number of times, yeah? Actually. Not really. Yeah. Just that time and then, but there's something recently well, I saw. so Without a Trace was both of our first, like, theatrical, like, I'm on a TV show thing. Yeah. And we played sisters. Because uh, it was Vanessa a Vanessa got it first. <laughs> I did. I did get it first. And someone weaseled her way in there <laughs> through nepotism. Uh, and then and we. And because she looked like me. And because she looked like me. And then we were uh, background voices on Finding Nemo. Nice. I saw that on we there. I was going to ask about that. We did not play sisters on that. Well, mm. I like to think we did. You could have. I like to think we we'll did. We'll never know. Because never I know. know. We were voices in the background. Right. Uh, sure, sure, sure. We still have a backstory. Every fish. Has a story, Vanessa. Really? They give you a whole backstory? We were fish as uh, well. Laura gave herself a backstory. Mm. Well, as any good actor does. Yeah, Thank it's you. also one of those Thank moments you. where you're like, I'm like, I don't know, nine or something, <coughs> and I'm like, oh, this is the person that I'm related to right now in this room. I like to think my name was uh, Jonathan. We're going to take a break. We'll come back and talk way more about Jonathan, and we'll also take uh, any of your phone calls out there. If you have phone uh, questions, for the Murano sisters, call 1 888 99 Adobe. We'll be right back after this. Thank you for watching on YouTube or for listening to the podcast version of our show. We love you. If you were listening live on Adobe Radio, you'd be hearing real music right now instead of this message. Sometimes rules don't allow us to play that kind of stuff on YouTube or on the podcast. Just putting it out there. Back with more show in a few seconds. Oh my gosh, back on the big show. Tons of fun during the break. Lots of craziness going on. Lots of Instagram living going on. Yes. Craziness. Wait, let me unmute some microphones. There we go. Now we're all back. Yay. We're all back together. Do you like Instagram live? Okay, I was actually just going to ask a question for everyone. Yeah, I've never saved my Instagram live because I feel like it's overwhelming. What? Should I save it? I think you should save it. Yeah. Yeah, because if people like, a lot, if they though? can't tune in for the live, then they get to, you know, I enjoy know, it. but it's, that's part of the, like, surprise. <coughs> it's part of the, like, ooh. Oh, that's true. You know what I mean? Like, hey, you missed out, sucka. Well, like, in a, in a in a fun way. Like, hey, I love you. You missed out. I love you, you know? Um, but Like, you may have missed this, but you're a really great person. <laughs> like, this one makes sense saving, but I haven't saved one before. But because usually my Instagram lives are, like, 30 minutes. And I'm like, that's oh, a yeah. long time. No, that's save, a long time. Right? Yeah. Because it saves in stories. It and does. if they couldn't jump on within 30 minutes, like, come on. I'm They're like, not yeah. real fans anyway. Right? Oh. You know I'm, I'm just kidding. Laura like didn't say that. I did. Like, <laughs> Send no. your angry, tr- angry tweets to me. No one ever gives me angry tweets. No one gives you angry tweets? No. You're upset you about upset that? that? <laughs> yes. I, I have tried to. S- okay, you guys. Let's talk about this. All right. I have tried to start, like, Twitter wars with people. Why? Just because I've never had one. Why? I understand this feeling. I've never way. had one. Why? Well, Do we have an arbitrary fake beef? No, he can't about tell people wh- it's going to be what, fake. About what, though? Anything. Wh- about what if we I hate these? stripes. Okay. Like I've just, <laughs> I've tried to just. I hate stripes, Laura. Oh, How dare you wear stripes? That oh, no, they're doing it. deep. 
I hate them. Well, I love plaid. I love plaid. Is a strong word. <laughs> I love plaid, but I, if you guys are watching on YouTube right now, you can see what I'm talking about. Laura's got this real cray striped shirt on, and um, you know what? I'm just saying. I wore it specifically for you. Oh, we got a caller. Laura, that is not. Oh, let's put them on the air. All right, everybody let's, ready? Let's do it. Wait, let's I let's see what happens. <laughs> Save the video. Go ahead. And here we go. Hello. Hi. Hi. Who's this? My name is Arushi. Where are you calling from? I'm from Austin, Texas. Oh, nice. Yeah. How, old, how old are you? I'm 16. All right. Hey, thanks for calling. Uh, my name is Brett, and this is my show. And um, our guests today are Laura and Vanessa Ram Really God, can't Marano. Marano. Why do I want to say Romano? I don't know. Arushi. Anyway, <laughs> hi. How are you? Hi. Oh, my gosh. Good. How are you guys? Really good. We're do you good. have Do you have any questions for Laura or Vanessa, or me? Or me. Um. Well, I just want to say that like I watched Switched at Birth. I think like Woo! three times. Oh and wow. And then, yeah. Thanks, Arusha. And then, I can't. I can't wait for the next season. And then also, I used to watch Austin and Ally with my brother, and oh. it's just oh, I love both those shows. Awesome. That makes me so happy. That's awesome. We love those shows, too. Thanks for checking biased. in. <laughs> now you can start listening to the Brett Davern Show every morning because we're going to have lots more guests yeah. like this, too. Side note, I love Austin, exactly. Texas. Exactly. Yes. Like, it's what... The, the baggage claim airport in the airport has guitars. <laughs> I was a big fan of the baggage claim at I the really Austin Texas so airport. Much. It's on, but all of Austin's can, great. Can you give it a Yelp review? Like, oh, out of all the baggage claims. <laughs> it says I haven't, Vanessa. <laughs> well, thanks for calling. What's going on in Austin today? What's, what are your plans for the day? Uh, no. Well, actually, my school had a four-day weekend, which was super Ooh, fun. So wow. I'm just gonna catch up on homework because I procrastinated. <laughs> but yeah, not smart. Not a lot of fun stuff. Good job, Arushi. Nice. <laughs> well, thanks for listening to the show and thanks for calling. Thank you so much. It was so nice to talk to everyone. All right. Bye. Have a good day. Bye. 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 Rock your you homework. Oh, that was so sweet. She Isn't that was nice? Lovely. I love taking and I phone loved her calls. Name, Arushi. I feel like so many people have the most awesome names, and then I have like Laura, which is awesome. I love Laura. <laughs> I love Laura. Oh, that's good. I'm glad that you're saying that so your name doesn't get offended. I want to oh make sure. God. Well, other people have Laura. We'll be like, what? Where did is it like a family name or anything? What's the story behind it? I don't think. I think we actually have. Um, Mom has like a great. Uh, like a grandmother of someone. Supposedly, it's a family name. We don't know anyone else in the family named Laura. My what name was mine was a uh, basically a compromise, mm. <laughs> is what mine was. Uh, yeah. My Beautiful. mom wanted to name me Mariah. Mariah Marie Morano, to be exact. Wow. <laughs> you think I'm having trouble saying Vanessa Morano? <laughs> Forget it with For, that one. Forget about it. Um, yeah. So my father opposed that uh, because you know why would you support it yeah. and uh his whole argument was that he wanted a name that the italians could pronounce and the people from the bronx could pronounce but my mom's side of the family's from rhode island so my mm. grandparents had heavy rhode island accents so he needed them not to butcher my name as right. well and because vanessa has so many vowels it's usually easy to pronounce except if your name's brett davern <laughs> so well brett can pronounce <laughs> vanessa just fine it's all more right than take all another right. phone call another caller. <laughs> see who's on there Hi, this is Brett in North Hollywood, California. Who's this? You got to turn down the radio. Talk into your phone. Hello? Hello? Hi, this is Brett. Who's yes. this? Hi. Hi. What's your name? Hi, I'm Alex. Hi, I'm Alex. Alexa for, I mean, Hi. Alex, uh, where are you calling from today? Um, you actually be surprised um, where I'm from. I'm from Hong Kong. Oh, wow. oh my gosh, that's amazing, Alex. Hong Kong checking in. Hey, What's Joe. up, Alex? Say hi to Laura and Vanessa Marano. What's up, Alex? Uh, I'm such a fan of both of you. 
Oh yay! Thank yes. you. Yes, I'm such a fan of you and. Hong and Kong. especially, of course, especially Katie as well. Yay! Oh, yeah, Alex, oh, thanks yeah. for the love. Have you ever been to Hong Kong, Laura? <laughs> I've never been to Hong Kong. I've always wanted to go. I've never been to Asia. Really? Where yes. are you, Vanessa? I was this close to going to Hong Kong, actually. Really? Oh, yeah, what? I did a, a, a movie that a, a teenager from Hong Kong actually wrote. Wow. <laughs> yeah, and they had the oh. premiere. Yeah, it was very cool. Uh, he he wrote a story about American teenagers because he was like, I mean, I got this. <laughs> uh, and he did. It was very Did you like go to China for a switch at birth? No. Yeah, we, we did. <laughs> but that was in Pasadena, actually. Oh. To downtown LA. Right? Oh. <laughs> well, oh, Pasadena that's right. are the Huntington Gardens also. Close oh, yeah. We were, yeah. I right. drug your limp that's, body that's through right. the Huntington I Gardens. I forgot about that. Wow. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's uh, a story spoiler there. Spoiler alert. Yeah, jeez. <laughs> there is, there, China <laughs> on Switched at Birth was Pasadena in downtown LA. Yeah. I forgot that we used to Dang part it. of LA. I know, <laughs> right? I know. Alex, do you have any questions for them while we have you on the phone? Um, I think my only question, because I didn't really, I didn't think it, this would work, but yeah, maybe my I'm question so would be like, um, maybe my question would be like, what's, um, for Vanessa and Katie, what's like the number one thing you miss in Switch Up Birth? And Vanessa, do you still remember ASL? Um, I miss seeing Katie's face every day. You took my Aww. answer. I, that's why I said it first. Man, <laughs> that is so <laughs> sickeningly sweet. Um, sweet. I, I, I do still remember a lot of the ASL. I'm much show less, us, show us, show us. Well, show us on the radio. Yeah, there's, there's a YouTube, YouTube, yeah, YouTube right there. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's see here. I love you. Hi. There you uh, go. It's such a cop out. One. That's nice. Oh. I know. I know. Uh, nice to meet you. Mm -hmm. no, I know. I don't know how to sign. Mm, That's a great see? one to know how to say. <laughs> Go to YouTube. Check actually out all the ASL. Say, switch up, I actually want to say Switch Up Birth actually um, inspired me to do ASL. Oh, actually. yay. Oh, cool. Very cool. Inspiring people. Yeah. That's, That's awesome. That's so cool. Is in... In China, do they have do they have Chinese sign language over there? Yeah, yeah. right. Because that's something I learned on Switched at Birth. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. It's not the same sign language in every country. Yeah, that's interesting. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, yeah it makes true, sense. True. But it's yeah. Thanks fun. for calling. And by the way, Switched at Birth like one of my favorite TV shows. Thanks. Just saying. Yes. Alex, you're the best. Thank you, Alex. Thanks for calling, Alex. Have a great day in Hong Kong. It's actually 10.30 p.m. Oh, right my now. gosh. Right. Have a great night. We'll have a great Sleep night. Sleep well. Sweet, Sweet dreams. dreams. <laughs> Bye. 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 Oh, man. How cool Sweet. is that? Isn't technology awesome? It's crazy. It's amazing. I mean, it's incredible. Like, oh, man. But just, just, like, cut to, like, her phone bill is, like, just something crazy. No, no. 1-800 yeah, number. Right? She's calling a 1-800 so number. It She's fine. We're paying one... the bill, I think. I don't know how I that think, works. Yeah, that's how it works. We pay the bill for that. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. So that's all right. I don't Thanks, mind. Thanks, Adobe, for right. making that. <laughs> Listen, if you are, like, just call, guys. First if you are listening anywhere in the world, I'll pay the bill. Just call in. <laughs> yes. I don't care. Hong Kong, that's amazing. That's pretty crazy. That's it really crazy. cool. That is one place I've always wanted to go, honestly. I, I want to go to Asia so bad. I went to Japan a year ago with some buddies just on, like, a dude's trip. Amazing. Really? But I feel like... I mean, Japan was incredible, but that's, I feel like it's really like the gateway to Asia, sort of, you know what I mean? Like, we didn't get past it, you know, yeah. like into, really into the nitty gritty of Asia, you know what I mean? Kind of on my, a bit, yeah, a it's bit right on the there. Border, and plus, like, I mean, well, Japan was awesome, but like, I kind of want to just get lost in, like, you know, like oh, somewhere deep. See, in that's the, heart the of Asia. exact opposite of what I desire. Oh, that's what desire. I want to do. <laughs> I want to throw a backpack on and pretend like I'm Leo in the beach. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Except I for all the I gangrene seen, and sharks. I haven't seen the beach. <gasps> you should what? check it out. Oh, we that need was my to talk cell phone. about that in a minute. What? Turning my cell phone off so I don't get texts. The beach. Oh, the beach. Should we talk <laughs> about the beach when we come back on the other side of the break? Um, we will uh, be back with more of your phone calls. Don't forget, you can call if you're listening anywhere in the world. Woo! Anywhere. I've just announced I'll pay the phone bill. One eight 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 nine nine I D O B I. Uh, give us a call during the break. We'll take those phone calls and put you on hold, and we'll be right back with tons more fun with the Romano sisters <laughs> coming up after this. Thank you for watching on YouTube or listening to the podcast version of The Brett Davern Show. If you were listening live on Adobe Radio, you'd be hearing real music right now instead of this message and whatever song this is. Sometimes the rules just won't let us play real music on YouTube or the podcast. It's not a big deal. Just putting it out there. Back with more show in a second. Back.
back on the Brett Davern Show with the Murano sisters. You guys really got to go to YouTube and watch Katie run this computer. It's a thing of beauty. I'm telling you. It's like she's got four arms over there. Um, we got more phone calls, right, Katie? We do. We've got Adam. All right. Hit up, caught up Adam. Adam. Adam, can you hear me? Whoa. Adam's got my issue with the coughing. Adam, are you there? Yes, hello. Hi, Adam. This is Brett in North Hollywood. Where are you calling Hi, how's from? It go? I'm great, man. We are calling... Go ahead. Your phone's breaking I think, up, Adam. I think this voice sounds familiar. This odd is oddly familiar? Hi, what? Katie. Uh -huh. Hello. What's happening? Do you guys know this person? Uh, this is really funny. Yeah, I. You know what? I'm a f fan of. Uh, <coughs> this voice God, sounds like boy. Vanessa's answering machine. That, strangely enough, I think this voice strangely might be Vanessa's enough, answering machine. All right, somebody explain to the host what's going on. <laughs> somebody explain. <laughs> oh wait, hold on. Let me unmute your microphone, Laura. <laughs> hold on, guys. I'm getting better at this. Okay, okay, go ahead. Can you hear me? It's uh, there's Laura Vanessa. Here. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, Adam, you used to work on Switch to Birth. Is that correct? That is correct. All right. I've got it now. <laughs> and w does he live in <laughs> New Zealand or Australia? No, no. he doesn't. He's from, oh. he's from I, England oh, originally. I see. I like yes. to make fun of his accent. But you didn't even say South Africa. <laughs> I Adam, didn't say South Africa. Adam, Adam while we have you on the phone, tell us uh, the most embarrassing story you can about Vanessa and or Katie from Swish to Birth. Quickly. Do it. Wow. <laughs> um. Wow, like there's so many. I just remember throwing that is hey, 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 Don't make me mute your microphone. Oh. Adam's talking. Adam yeah. has the floor. Go ahead, Adam. I, I remember uh, Katie and I used to carpool to and fro. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I remember this. At one point, we might or might not have, um, have uh, thrown tomatoes out of our window at at, okay. uh, Vanessa First of all, it's pronounced wow. tomatoes. Let's, we're in America I, I, I now. Let's put it Let's in get the this window straight. one time. A drive by tomatoing. I don't even know, think I know about this. <laughs> that's pretty, we that's pretty awesome. We pulled up to get on the freeway, and mm -hmm. they're both next to me, and they just looked over like they had talked about this wow. or something. And all of a sudden, these <laughs> Violent. tomatoes were being Violent. pelleted into my car. They were mm. cherry tomatoes, and it's not like they were rotten. You're oh, fine. Oh, cherry tomatoes? Oh, You're wait, fine. Just question why. Yeah. Why not? Good. That's good the point. ultimate question. I'm, I'm not isn't even kidding you. Like a week later, I fe like there were still so, there were so many thrown into my car. But they were oh in God. your car. <laughs> yes, because I I rolled down the window. <laughs> oh, you fool! You oh, fool. My God. You fool. <laughs> All right. Yes. We, we got to get to uh, left or right. Adam, thank you so Adam, much for calling for and calling us that we story. We love you, Adam. Of course. Thanks, buddy. Thanks, Talk Adam. to you later. Great show. I'm I'm excited. All right. Lovely to talk to you guys. Bye. 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 All right, should we take that one quick one, or should we play left or right? I think we left or right. What time is it? Uh, no, we got time. Take All that right. one real quick, and then we'll we'll do it. Hello, this is Brett in North Hollywood, California. Who's this? This is Ben. Hi, Ben. Where are you calling from? Uh, over in Eastern Ohio. Eastern Ohio. Ooh. Nice, man. Oh, yeah. Well, Ben, oh, say hi, hi to Laura oh. and Vanessa Morano. Hello, Ben. Hi, how's it going? Good. How are you? I'm doing great. Nice. Ben, do you have a question for the ladies? Um, yeah. Uh, now my, my wife and I have been watching uh, Switch of Birth for oh, a long, long time. So um, we were wondering uh -huh. what was probably the what was probably your favorite episode? Our favorite episode. Wow, good Ooh, question. Uh, we did a what if episode where it would have been like, what if, you know, they had found out about the Switch? And apparently that meant I would have had a bob, is <laughs> what I discovered. Because that was in a it makes wig sense. for that whole episode. But that was fun because it was like different. And yeah. Interesting. Fun hey, to play with the characters. Katie and I had a cry off in that episode. What season it was, was my that? Uh, season three? Oh. Four? I think it was two. No, it was oh, not two. But you were in a little bit, so it was time for a shake up. 
Yeah. yeah. I mean, it was like, Time oh, to shake we up. did one weird one every season. My favorite weird one is the dance, dance. episode. Oh, that was my least favorite out yeah. of all of them was yeah. the dance episode. Because <laughs> I don't dance. Don't ask me. Um, <laughs> Laura, because I made Adam <laughs> tell us the story of like an awkward moment for them on their set, what was an awkward moment for you on your set? Like Austin and Allie? Anything oh, crazy going on over so there? We had so many. Really? Like, but in the best way. We had like the best time. No, um, come on. Tell me like the one you're not supposed to tell people. Um... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. You can the tell one. me whatever you want. Well, you know, there was that one incident. Mm. Did you step on Ross's foot? That's the one I want to hear. Um, no, but I definitely got stepped on. Oh, really? Times. Yeah. You're just so much I'm smaller short. than him. Yeah, I'm small. It's funny. We're actually, like, really far in height, and uh-huh. I don't think it shows in the um, show. Right. I think in the show. It's because you closer. were allowed to wear heels in your show. Yeah, that was very frustrating. Right? Katie and I were not mm. allowed to wear heels Sounds like on there's some show. backstory there. I'm sorry, I interrupted you, though. What's the story? What's the awkward moment? What's oh, no, I was craziness? I was, I was going to make a joke about pregnancy, but I felt like that might not be funny. <laughs> mm. but, um, pregnancy is always funny. <laughs> um... But it's like that awkward moment where the first AD was pregnant and then she gave birth in the middle of a live taping. Uh huh. It was a male um, first AD. Wow. <laughs> but we had female oh first AD the first season. Oh yeah, that's right. I forgot Sean. about Sean. We had a lot of first ADs. They were all awesome. Um, we just had like the best time. There's like just so many times when we laughed on set or I ran into things or I fell. Um, or I fell again, or I flipped over in a chair while we were filming a crossover <laughs> episode for Jesse. It was totally cool. It was yeah. Life. It was fine. Are you klutz? No. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Ben, thanks for calling, man. We got to run, but uh, thanks for listening to the show. Thanks for calling in. Yeah, thank you. I enjoyed it. <laughs> All right, man. Talk to you Take later. Care. Bye-bye. Bye. All right, guys, one last thing to do with you here. Um, and thank you to everyone who called in and joined in the fun today. We need to turn that off. <laughs> yeah, you got to hit uh, this. Oh, well, anyway. Um, uh, All right, one last thing to do with you guys before we let you go. Um, We're going to do this with all of our guests on the show. I have two note cards, one in each hand. I'm going to put them behind my back. They each contain a line of questioning. You're going to tell me right or left, and that determines the line of questioning. Oh, Hence the game, right or left. Is one much harder than the other? Um, And how are we talking about, like, one is mathematical problems. The other one's about your personal life. Um, (laughs) All right, so tell me left or right. Do we each pick? No, I'm going to ask you the same line of questions. Okay. Okay. Say it at the same time. Left. Left. (laughs) You pick the game 10 questions. Game 10. 10 questions with Laura and Vanessa Marano. I thought you were making a sports reference, and I was like, It's the purple one, everybody, if you're watching on YouTube. Here we go. Ready? Mm -hmm. Question number one. Most used emoji. I'm the, the, like, um... Happy, blushing, smiley face with no teeth. Oh, that's nice. I don't even know, man. What? I'm just going to go into my recents and just L- see what... You have 31 I like that messages? she's actually making sure it's How the most you used. How yeah, because I... Thorough. Messages. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, the la- yeah. Oh, uh, the, uh, the winky face, apparently. Wow. The, was you the one have that was never last used the winky face. Cheeky. I also have never used that lipstick either, <laughs> so I don't know where that came from. Oh, that was me. Number two. <laughs> celebrity crush. John Stewart. That's a That's good a great one. answer. Thank you. Wow. Um, uh, mine has always been and probably will always be George Clooney. Oh, yeah. You can't go wrong He's with Clooney. He's a silver-haired fox. How Not George Clooney, wrong? Roseanne days? No, George Clooney, George like, Clooney? season oh. two ER. <laughs> yes! Hello. George Clooney, season two Dr. ER. Dr. Doug. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Uh, yeah, that's right. Dr. Doug. You watch ER. Hell yeah. <laughs> I'm a huge ER that's fan. That's what I've learned today about oh, yeah. Brett Cavern. Oh, definitely. I knew that about Brett. Uh, my the first, moment I locked eyes with My him. first ever uh, movie that I was ever in, w- uh, Juliana Margulies was in it as well. Mm-hmm. And it was all I could do to keep from like just... Was it ER, the movie? No. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been incredible. It would have been amazing. No, it wasn't. Number three, most watched movie of all time. So it might not necessarily be your favorite movie, but what movie do you think you've seen the most amount Probably of times? Probably our movie, Saving Zoe, at this point. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> that oh, would that's be funny. We've seen Saving Zoe so many times. Um, Saving Zoe and also randomly 50 First Dates. Oh. Oh, mm-hmm. uh, I mean, also, by the way, because it's always on The Devil Wears Prada. Oh, right. Also, I actually have not watched The Devil Wears Prada that much. Movies oh. we love. It is. It's movies that E does love. Yeah. Number four. What's next for the Murano sisters? Um, <laughs> Speaking of Saving <laughs> Zoe... Oh, we did. We filmed a movie together, and we um, we did produced we did it. it. We produced and started a movie together where we play sisters for the first time in fifteen years. 
crazy. And that was really exciting. So we're besides finding Nemo. Yeah. Besides, <laughs> you, you were, you were when like, you might or might not have been <laughs> sister fish. Yeah. But our we brother, were brother okay. sister. We John were apparently. <laughs> Uh, so, but yeah, that was very exciting, and so we've been in the editing process right now, hence nice. why we've seen it a million so many times. times. No, that's really cool. Yeah, it was really It awesome. is really cool. I've also, we've just, I've just seen our faces so many times. Is that going to make the festival rounds, or like, when Here's can hoping. we? We're yeah? trying. Yeah, All right. we're trying. Our so goal is, is some film festival. It's that still, would be nice. it's still like, um, we have the rough cut, but we've been, uh, we just started submitting. I'm sure so. you guys will be talking about it on social media and stuff, so people can follow along yeah, and Vanessa. find out when it's going <laughs> to. Come out. It's really exciting because it's something we've wanted to do for a really, really long time. We've yeah. had the rights to the book for ten years, and nice. we got to produce with our mom, so it was a whole. Yeah. What's the What's affair. the storyline, or what's What's it about? Basically, I like to say it's like a love story between two sisters, and it takes place a year after the older sister was murdered, Ooh. and the younger sister finds her diary and realizes her sister was not the person she thought she was. Wow! And that yeah. there's more to the murder than meets the eye. Ah, I like that. I like the accent. Thank you, <laughs> Adam. <laughs> <laughs> Number five. Five. Did you ever have an AIM screen name? And if so, what was it? I did, but I actually cannot remember. Oh, it. come on. I swear it had. I, I, I didn't. Well, I did. You didn't? First of all, you had an iChat. You, yeah, mm. you had an iChat. You did I not actually have did have AIM. I did. You did not have an AOL instant message. Do you know they just I announced did have an AIM. AIM is uh, dying? Yeah, RIP. December 15th, last day. Yeah. I know. Mine, just for posterity, my AOL. Instant Messenger screen name was Snowboard Kid Eight, spelled S N W B R D Kid Eight. So my friends like to tease me that it could have been Snowbird Eight. It could have. That's mm. rude. Katie, what was yours? Toes and socks. Yeah. I feel like That's I changed. Can one. you change mm. them? I feel like I changed it a few times. You changed. You I have to create like a new account. I think you're talking about something entirely different. You did not have an AOL instant uh, messenger. Why don't you tell it a sixth grade Laura Morano? I will, because <laughs> Laura Morano had no access to AOL unless there was... I did have, I have a computer. Here they Thanks. go again. <laughs> I love it. I love it. What question are we on? Uh, oh, question number six. Uh, the Rolling Stones or the Beatles? Oh, Laura just asked this question a little while ago <laughs> to did. somebody. Um, uh, uh, me is the Beatles. I love both. Oh, good. They're going to argue again. I mean, Vanessa I, doesn't listen to that type of music. So I, I mean, I I have heard both of them. What you don't have a preference? <laughs> Everyone name, has a preference. Name three songs by the Rolling Stones. Uh, the the one in Westworld that they did a uh, the one where he's like, up. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah uh, the uh, uh, you can't always get what you want. You know that because of Glee. Uh, yeah, I do know that because of Glee. And <laughs> uh, Katie's having a panic attack over there right now. I don't nope, know why. It's mixed. Mix the okay. one next to it. There we go. Did it just quit on its own? Yeah. Uh, so, uh, Are we, wait, we might not be on the on air. There. No, seriously, maybe not. Yeah, we're not. Hold on. Let's get it back. Pause. It's okay. It's okay. Okay. You got to quit that. Like, literally, go up and quit. Ooh, let me keep this action. Okay, we're on. Hello? Uh, we're back. Okay. It's we're back, everybody. Rolling Sorry. Stone Technical songs. difficulties. Go Painted ahead. black, and I know that because of Westworld. Uh, you can't always get what you want. I know that from Glee. And then Satisfaction, and I know that from that Britney Spears album where she covered it. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. We were talking Rolling Stones. That's but I'm going to need a pre- so, like, what are you talking about? So are you, going to, so are you going to go with Rolling Stones? I'm going to go with Beatles, probably. Okay. So after all that Rolling Stones talk, I was just trying to I you're going to stick with I'm John, Paul, George, and Ringo. I've heard a Rolling Stones mm -hmm. song before. Number seven. Uh, I ripped this question off from the actor's studio. Oh, nice. But Is James Lipton li ripped off word? his li whole line of questioning, so I don't feel bad about it. From some <laughs> from French you. guy. But is it favorite no, curse right. word? Because that's my favorite line. Um, that question. used to be the question I asked, but I, you want to answer it? No, not on the air. No? <laughs> We're on the you internet. You can it? say whatever you want. I know, but there still is a vast uh, difference <laughs> in age in all of our audience. No, the question I want to ask you uh, from the actor's studio is what sound, noise, or word you absolutely hate. Ooh. God, you know what's so funny is all I'm thinking is I know Katie's. What? Moist, right? No. No, wasn't it yours moist? Modulate. Oh, modulate. That's right. You don't like modulate? Yeah. No. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> Who's was moist? A lot There's of people. There's a people's. few people's. A lot, a lot of there people don't like that word. specifically on Switch. We've had this uh, conversation before. Vanessa, let's talk about your least favorite word, not other people's. Oh, I'm trying to think. Mm. Um, I just hate any sort of slurs. Any sort yeah. of slurs in any way, like literally. Well, and by the way, the question covers sounds and stuff too, like not just words. So I like hate sounds, noises. Sounds, but I hate any sort of slur.
any sort of way. It literally of makes me want to like crawl yeah. underneath the desk and die. Yeah. Yeah. Do you mean like a, a like the sound of a slur? <laughs> or someone like slurring their words. Just someone like, slurring. Uh, I'm like so offended. An offensive <laughs> slur. Number eight. <laughs> oh boy, this is <laughs> this is my question. I'm just gonna keep going with it. We did it for a year on the podcast. Here we go. Question number eight, everybody. Um, so okay, backstory. Backstory. When the podcast first started, all of our guests were dudes. And I thought it'd be funny to ask them boxers or briefs. That's the age old dude question, right? Oh, that's weird. But then we started getting female guests. And so I was like, oh, crap, I can't abandon this line of questioning now. It's become a bit, right? Uh huh. So when there's ladies here, I ask it like this Boxers or briefs? Boy shorts. Wait, what was it, Katie? We came up with it. Cheekies. Oh, yeah. Boy shorts, cheekies, granny panties, commando, or other. Boy shorts, cheeky. Like panties. Mm-hmm. Is the, yeah, well, I don't know. I'm word. still trying to figure Wait, it out. But like, it's, cheeky's not bikini cut, right? It's a, I guess it's it is. It's all that, that, yeah. that style. Okay, but that's like a bikini, like a bikini yeah. cut style. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, What's other? I mean, other, I think, is what? It just covers other. everything else. Or maybe, dong, da, dong, dong, dong. Other, like, entices me. But I'm going to say boy shorts. Other entices me as well, Laura. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to I s- feel slightly uncomfortable. I'm also going to say, <laughs> depends on the day. Huh. That's Depends a fair answer. On, that is a, a fair good answer. answer. Without that looking, do you know answer. what color you're wearing today? Black. Purple. There you go. Mark them down. <laughs> Look how great they are. <laughs> Number nine, what is your go-to coffee shop order? You walk up. You don't really see the menu. You just know what you want, and you just fire it off. Okay, Boom. Okay, so typic- this typically <laughs> it's vanilla latte. Today it was a chai latte with a shot of espresso. It's mm. fall, so pumpkin spice latte comes into play depending on I'm the I'm going to need one. I Fred. What's your go-to? I need to know. I don't feel the same thing every morning. It depends on the day. It depends yeah. on the day. It depends on what the underwear that I am wearing at oh, the moment. Oh, yeah. Because that determines Maybe if you're wearing other, other, you know, you go pumpkin spice. Other. It's usually a latte. Okay. What latte? <laughs> Laura, you don't drink coffee? Says. Hot water. You don't drink coffee? I don't drink coffee. Never? Never. Have you ever tried it? Um, uh, Years ago, and I threw up a little bit in my mouth. Yeah, yeah. It's an acquired taste. taste so much. It except it's an acquired taste. taste that everyone on earth has. Yeah, well, that's true. Except with me. beer. Yeah. What? Beer's not actually delicious. No, oh, it's my God. Just yeah, yeah, I don't like beer. I don't enjoy I don't, beer either. I just saw the just clock. Disgusting. We are running long. Um, all right, final <laughs> question. Number 10. It's the most important question of all. This question tells me everything that I need to know about you. It's yes. a simple question. Bananas. But honestly, your answer. <laughs> wow, that's really wow. funny, actually. Your uh, your answer tells me everything I need to know about you. Um. And thank you for being here, by the way. You're welcome. Laura Murano and Vanessa Murano. Good job. I'm getting better at it. <laughs> uh, what is your favorite fruit? Bananas. <laughs> I had no idea. I just won. Nectarine. That's a wrap, everybody, on another edition of the Bread Davern Show. Woo! Yeah, we class. did it. We made it. Yes, we made you guys. It. And you guys are killing it. Second Say day. goodbye, producer Katie. Bye. Woo! Say goodbye, Boy Wonder. Bye. Woo! Producer Katie is on Twitter at Katie LeClaire. There's a C at the end of that, but it's silent. You figure it out. Boy Wonder doesn't have a Twitter account at Boy Wonder yet. I'm sure he's got his own Twitter account. But because I don't want to give out his real name on the air, we're not going to tell you what it is. <laughs> we're going to have to make you a new Twitter account. I'm on Twitter, at B-D-A-V-V, two V's in there, as in, this was very much better than yesterday, (laughs) and we'll continue to try to get better every day. Thank you for listening live on Adobe Radio. You can also subscribe to the podcast version of the show on iTunes, Google Play Music, or YouTube. If you like what you heard, guys, just tell a friend. That's all we ask. The show's free. You can call us for free. Everything's for free. (laughs) All we ask is that if you liked what you heard, you recommend it to a friend and that you listen again tomorrow. You can also follow the show on any of the social medias at Brett Davern Show or go to brettdavernshow.com for archived episodes, photos, and much more. Today's guests, Laura Murano, Vanessa Murano, Murano, dang it, so close, close. can be found on Twitter at Laura Murano and at Vanessa Murano. Two S's in Vanessa. Same names for Instagram? Same names for Instagram. Boom, that keeps it easy. Vanessa didn't know. She was unsure. I was. <laughs> Once again, 
for Boy Wonder and Katie LeClaire. I'm Brett, reminding all of you to be kind and take care of each other. We'll see you tomorrow. Yes! That was our show. Good night. Good morning. New Zealand or Australian Ben. I can't remember which one it was. Adam. Adam. Adam.